Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, but you can also call me Enigma. And welcome back to some more Life is Strange Before the Storm. So today, we are going to be playing episode 2 that has just released. I actually don't even know the name of episode 2. But uh, I know where we left off last time at the end of episode 1. Shit got pretty heavy. We started a forest fire, or I should say Rachel started a forest fire, not us. And I assume the story's gonna pick up from immediately where episode one left off. And, uh, Rachel and Chloe are thinking about skipping town. That's right. They may not be in Arcadia Bay for much longer. So before we get started with episode two here, if you have not seen my playthrough of Life is Strange Before the Storm, Go ahead and click down in the description. There's going to be a link to part one of episode one of this game. And you can see all of my choices that I have made up until this point. So without further ado, I present to all of you episode two of Life is Strange Before the Storm, entitled Brave New World. Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm going to teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead. Get the fuck out of here. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. And that's where we left off. Crazy shit went down in episode one. I can't wait for episode two. Looks like we uh, are in the principal's office. Do they know it's us? They can't. Although we didn't go home the night before. Or the night of, I should say. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. I'm surprised David's not there. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um... What? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't screw up. Right? I think that was it. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Mm -hmm. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. 
Shall I continue? How are you going to call us out? Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students. Victoria Chase. Oh, yeah. Okay. She cheated, fuck that. Uh... Oh, man. Um... She cheated. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. All right, good. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> I helped him! What? The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. Damn right I did. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Man, I don't like Convenient. his principle. He is an asshole. I do not like him. I'm not going to call him him. I'm going to reassure mom because I don't owe anything to him. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course. Of course, Rachel. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. She's a great actress. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Bullshit, yeah, fine. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or- Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel- Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? This is getting intense here. Goad her on, enjoy the show. I, I kind of want to just enjoy the show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Ooh. 
Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Wow. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. Wow. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. Ooh. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh, now that's a bigger punishment. The first one, Come not on. so much. <sighs> the performance is tonight. Uh, oh, shit. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta call this out. But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure you're understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. What am I gonna add? Go along with Rachel, take the blame. See, taking the blame is a risk. But, it's got that talkback ability, so we could dig ourselves out of the hole. The problem is, if we screw up, shit really hits the fan. And I don't know if I want to go against Rachel. Oh, this is a tough one. And we can't rewind time either. Um, see, it's not her fault that she could be taken out of the show. So at that point, if we take the blame, then she could go back into the show. So we're gonna try to take the blame. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. Man, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. To succeed in back talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. I know, I've already done it. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Here we go. Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Oh, uh, accept reality. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? You should confess she just wants attention. Uh... Ugh. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Uh, you don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Oh man, we're Chloe, one away. this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Sorry for making you look bad. Yeah. Fine. Mr. Wells. I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. Hell yeah. I've heard enough. 
Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Hell yeah, we did it. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. We knew it was coming anyway. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. That was already established in the first game. No worries, no worries. We got Rachel back in the play. That's what's most important. I wasn't going to let her go down in flames. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. Ooh, look at that. That was a sly little meeting there. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. That wasn't awkward at all. Hey, Skip. Uh-oh, now we gotta face Joyce's wrath. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Hell yeah. Thanks, Skip. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say, it sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Okay, so uh, let's take a look and see what we have. We've got homework. Well, we might as well trash that, because we, uh, we don't need that. Anymore, seemingly. I didn't even look at what it was, though. That <laughs> I probably could have. Let's look at the cat picture. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. That is sad. And we are going to take the photo. Actually, Rachel pointed out that cat picture before. Damn, that got really real. All right, let's see what else we have. We have a pencil case. Oh, what's the, uh, what's this? Wonder who will grace this space after me. Hmm. Let's go ahead and sign the locker. I wonder if there's an Easter egg in the first game, if you could, like, look in the locker and see that that was hers. Hmm. That'd be interesting. All right, well, we got a pencil case. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Well, d we'll take the case. Just because we're leaving doesn't mean we don't we don't have to uh, just leave the pencil case. That's weird. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Hmm. It's a very interesting collage. All right. Well, let's look. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Well, she said something about the stash. Where's the stash? Just throw away the textbook, I guess. Uh, geometry? Hmm. If Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? Not that long. Later. Is he gonna notice us, like, doing this? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... Imagery. Nah, we don't need to. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. That's sad. Read. 
metal. Oh, that's very cool poster. Might as well just trash it. Seriously, she said something about her stash, but there's like nothing left, right? Uh, oh, right there. Finally. What I actually came here for. I wonder if I could just like leave the locker without taking it. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <gasps> Chloe, hey yo, had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. Damn it, Justin. Oh, that wasn't noticeable. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? I'm gonna tag the bathroom, aren't I? Something else has gotta go down in here, right? Oh, listen to this music. Oh man, we're gonna go hard and just tag everything. Wow. And this is the bathroom insubordinate. I didn't see the one about Victoria on the wall. Holy shit, they're gonna have to replace everything. Wow. So this is totally the bathroom where she got shot in the first game too. This is it. Oh. And look at that middle finger! There's a fucking tree! Oh my god, she's gonna break the fire alarm too? There will be repercussions. So, Skip was like, oh, it's gotta be quick. This is totally not quick. But I like the music though. This has got some bumping soundtracks to one of my favorite choice-based games. Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode 2, Brave New World. Alright, what's this last thing? Is this the last thing? So there's like trees and marijuana leaves. Oh, look at that. That's fucking awesome. Wow. And I'm talking, by the way, just to make sure that this episode won't get a copyright strike, but it probably will, just because of the song. Oh, gee, she's not going to tattle on me. <laughs> wow, she's speechless. What can I say? I leave a lasting impression.